20 types of posts to drive more traffic to your blog. None of this content can fail. Yeah, you read that right. All of the types of posts outlined in here are three things. 1. What your readers want to read. 2. Proven to work. 3. Foolproof to write. So, here are those 20 post types. 1. How to's. What do you use the internet for? Occasionally, it's for checking Facebook, emails, and the latest sports scores. But mostly, it's to learn something. Even, if that's what Joe Pesky's childhood album was called. In fact, take a look at Google Trends of last year. Most of them are, how to, what is, who is. If that's what you use the internet for, it stands to reason that your audience does too. To be honest, the only reason they read your blog is, because they want your answers to their questions. So give them the answers they are looking for. Pick an aspect of your niche, and creates a step-by-step -step guide, on how they can get better at it. This is a technique, successful blogs use to create powerful connections with their audience. The trick here is, to give away some valuable insider knowledge. If there is such a thing, and show your reader, how to implement it to themselves. And this works for any niche too. Cooking, how to prepare summer squash. Alcohol, how to brew your own beer. Employment, how to write a resume. Finance, how to save money in a bad economy. If there is something in your niche your audience wants to do, there's a how to blog post to go along with it. For your newer readers, this is also a great way, to establish yourself as an authority with them. If you can show that you do, honestly, know what you're talking about, they're more likely to pay attention to you. In short, how-tos are the bread and butter of your blog, your readers, and everyone who uses the internet, are looking for solutions to their problems. Establish yourself as an authority, by solving them. 2. Personal Stories It's true to say, that your audience, doesn't really care about you. They care about, what you can do for them. For example, I love Timothy Ferris books, but, I would really struggle, to pick him out of a police lineup. That's just the way it is. However, if you have a personal story, that relates to the reader, or, even better, emotionally affects them then you have their attention. A great example of this, comes from John Morrow, the owner of Boost Blog Traffic. One of his most viewed, shared, and commented on blog posts is, on dying, mothers, and fighting for your ideas. The post's focus is, on why being a blogger, is important to the reader. But, it's intertwined, with a story of a mother, that just would not let him die. It relates to the reader, it's emotional. It's powerful. The whole business model of Tiny Buddha, is based on these stories too. And that's, a site with an excess of 1.5 million people connected to it. In order to, make these posts work, and not have them come across, as self-serving bullshit, is to always, relate it back to the reader. Ask yourself the question, what does the reader gain from this? If it's nothing more than a good anecdote, it's a waste of your time. But, if it's something powerful, valuable, and engaging, you're find a winner. There are two approaches here. The first one, as you've just seen, is to pour your heart out, onto the page. The second one, is about something you've achieved, that the reader can copy. For example, this post from Robbie Richards, is still a personal story, it's how he grew his mailing list, but, it offers insane value to the reader. Whichever one you choose, that's your decision to make. Always remember to bring it back, to the reader and offer lots of value. In short, people are more likely, to connect with a person, than a business. Which as a blogger, plays into your hands. Show your readers your human side, and share with them what you've been through, just, always make it relate back to them. 3. Case Studies Have you ever tried, to teach someone you're close to, but they just don't listen? But then, someone else says exactly the same thing, and they hang on every word? This is, the blogging version of that. It's really easy, to illustrate a point you're trying to make, by showing the reader, what someone else has done. For this, I'm going to direct you to, one of my own posts, what bedroom marketers, can learn from million dollar affiliates. Every post on Nika Hacks, in one form or another, teaches the importance of value. How to add it to your reader, and how it will make you, a lot more money. 
but when it's shown to you, through what someone else has done, the multi-million dollar company Skyscanner, it just seemed to click. This is because you, the reader, can what's being said in practice. And you can take your own lessons, not just the ones I pointed out, from it too. How does this work for you? With this simple formula. Successful person. For business. Plus your opinion, plus actionable steps, equal blog post. Do your research. Take the time to find people, or businesses who are worth profiling. And then write about them. Your audience will love it. In short, case studies let you get your point across, by using someone else as an example. Readers love information that's easy to digest, like this. Create a study that highlights what you want to say, from a familiar company or person, and you're on a winner. 4. List Posts These are a staple of the blogosphere. Why? Because, people want to read them. It's an unexplained scientific phenomenon. When your audience sees a list, they want to read it. No ifs, buts, or questions asked. Just like you reading this one right now. List posts are a great way to, Trojan horse your way into people's minds. You can grab them with a catchy title, and then hit them, with a cold hard gut punch of knowledge. They're also great traffic builders, because of how likely they are to get shared. I like to split list posts up into two sections. The valuable, and the viral. Valuable posts are like this one from Quicksprout, outlining 10 clear, and concise points for marketers to pay attention to. Viral posts are more like the ones you see on BuzzFeed, like this one, that serve no purpose other than to get lots, and lots of shares, and draw attention to their brand. This depends on your brand, image, and the content of your site. My advice, get somewhere in between the two. Create content that will push buttons, create talk, and get shared. But for every viral point, be sure to add a value or want to. In short, Trojan horse thinking. Use a list post to grab their attention. Make them click through. Tell them what you really want to say. Or, give them something to share. Either way, you can never have too many list posts.